हेलो चिल्ड्रेन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू आर इंग्लिश क्लास ओके टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग योर सेकंड लेसन इन योर इंग्लिश कोर्स बुक लेसन नंबर टू द स्टोरी ऑफ रुडॉल्फ काइंडली ओपन योर इंग्लिश कोर्स बुक्स ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन देर इज अ स्टार्टर एक्सरसाइज can you see your children a grid is given over here okay so what you have to do you have to follow the color codes given here here there are color codes is given for example brown is a2 a12 b2 b12 c2 orange is g5 j6 what is this a2 a12 a means can you see over here a b c d and all so a if it is a2 you have to go to this a okay this a and this two join these two and you have to color that box okay so follow the color codes given here to fill in the coordination in the box so that it will coordinate okay this side you have got alphabets and this side you have got numbers see this and then you have to color and see what a wonderful picture you get you get an interesting and a lovely picture of a reindeer is that clear okay now this is the story of rudolph now what do you mean by the word Ru rudolph rudolph is the name of a small reindeer rudolph lived in toy land okay rudolph lived in toy land now what do you mean by the word toyland toyland is the name of an imaginary place that is only in stories it's an imaginary place that we imagine in our stories in the north pole where santa claus lives with his elves and reindeer every year they make a wrap christmas presents which santa delivers to all the nice children in this world okay now let's see what is the story about so there lived a reindeer called rudolph he where did he live he lived in toyland in north pole he was younger and smaller than the other reindeer see can you see how small it is okay how cute it is isn't it he was younger and smaller than the other reindeer there they all had proud and tall antlers what do you mean by the word antlers children antlers are horn shaped like branches okay they have huge horns see can you see over here these are antlers okay what do you mean by the word antlers antlers means horn shaped like branches so they were all proud they all had proud tall antlers okay they mean soup the other reindeers what were their name prancer dasher and donder were the names of a few other reindeer in toyland along with our rudolph there also lived three other reindeers other reindeers in toyland what are their names prancer dasher and donder is that clear so so where is this toyland it is in north pole where is north pole see can you see this globe children this is our globe okay so this part is north pole can you see this part this is north pole and this is south pole this southern end down and this is your upper side is your north pole and this is your south pole i'll show you another picture see this is your north pole can you see children so there is a place called toyland in north pole okay this is your north pole so this is our rudolph okay he was younger and smaller so rudolph's antlers were very tiny you cannot see his okay his antlers were very 
tiny, very small, and worst of all, Rudolph had a nose that was big and bright red. He had a nose. How was his nose? See, can you see the nose over here? See, the reindeer had a red nose. And he had a nose that was big and bright red. See what wonderful red it is. It was so red that it glowed in the dark also. Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like other reindeer in Toyland. So the other reindeers made fun of Rudolph and called him names. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. They all teased him. So before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign on the gate of Toyland. See, these are his other reindeers, okay? Prancer, Dancer and Prancer, Dasher and Donder. They were the names of few other reindeer who lived in Toyland. See, can you see their antlers, children? Look at the antlers. Horn shaped like branches they have. Look at this. Who are they? They are the other reindeers who were staying in Toyland. Okay? And this is our Rudolph. Okay? With a red nose. Okay? And Santa. See, can you see Santa? He is our Santa. You must have seen him, no children? What does he do? He brings us gifts. This is Santa. See. Santa. So before Christmas, Santa elves posted a sign on the gate to Toyland. This is Santa. Santa's elves. What do you mean by the word elves? Elves are small creatures. Can you see here? Elves are the small creatures that is only in the stories which pointed. With, with pointed. See, can you see the points over there? How are they? They have pointed ears. Can you see the ears? Pointed ears. So, elves are the small creatures with pointed ears. Years. So, what did the Santa's elves do? They posted a sign on the gate to the toy land. All the reindeers were asked to line up at 8 o'clock in the meadow. Santa Claus was coming to choose the team that would deliver presents to every good little boy and girl in the world. Okay. So, before the Christmas Eve, what did the elves do? They all posted a sign on the gate of the toy land. What did they line read there? All the reindeer were asked to line up at 8 o'clock in the meadow. So Santa Claus was coming to choose the team that would deliver presents to every little good boy and girl in the world. So the reindeer danced with joy when they heard the news. Isn't it? So whenever we to hear some news, what do we do? We also will be very happy and will dance. Everybody. Okay. So each reindeer hopped. He would be chosen to guide Santa's sleigh. What is the meaning of sleigh children? See this is a sleigh. Sleigh is a vehicle that slides over snow. Okay. So this will Sleigh where in the snow. See, can you see here? This is a sleigh. See, Santa is sitting on the sleigh. Is that clear? So, Rudolph sighed. He did not want Santa to see his bright red nose. At 8 o'clock, when all the reindeer had gone to the meadow, Rudolph hid behind a holly hedge. Because he, he never wanted to go in front of everyone. Why? Because all the other reindeers would tease this Rudolph. Why? Because of his red nose. So what did he thought? Rudolph thought that when all the other reindeer had gone to the meadows, he hid behind a holly hedge. This is a holly hedge. 
What do we mean by the word holly hedge? Holly means a bush or small tree with hard shiny leaves with sharp pointed and red bright red berries in winter okay and this is often used as a decoration at during christmas and it is also a row of bushes planted close together usually along the edges usually along the edges of a field or a garden so behind the thick bush with bright red berries no one could find rudolph with his bright red nose because rudolph was having a red nose isn't it so he thought he will go and hide behind the thick bushes so in the meadows all the reindeer in the toy land except rudolph stood in a line while santa inspected them okay so they were all standing in a line can you see in this picture see they were all standing and this is our rudolph who was standing behind so all these others they all had come over there why did they all come over there so that santa inspected them santa chose carefully only the fastest the strongest and the best reindeer would do so dasher is the biggest reindeer who was the biggest dasher he is dasher Santa said Dasher is the biggest reindeer Dasher wrote his elf assistant in a big book and Dancer is the strongest Okay said Santa pulling his beard Dancer wrote the elf Ho ho let's see continued Santa Prancer and Vixen make the smoothest landings on the rooftops Comet is the fastest and Cupid is the most sure-footed. I picked them up. So Santa picked few of them. Okay. See here. Can you see Santa? See this is our Rudolph who is hiding behind the holly. Holly hedge over here. And see here. These are all dancer. Dancer is there. Dasher is there. And then Santa is also Santa. Can you see Santa here? Here, can you see? This is Santa and Prancer and Vixen. See Prancer and Vixen and Cupid, Comet. They were all. They are the most sure-footed. So Santa picked them. And said Santa, I choose Donder and Blitzen. They are the best at turning over the tree tops and landing smoothly. So when all the selections were done, the reindeer danced and clinked. What do you mean by the word clink? Clink means to make sharp ringing sound by hitting each other. So they made, they clinked their antlers together in happiness. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given good jobs. One was to try out toy electric trains. Another was to hug Christmas kittens. The only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. Poor Rudolph. He was the only one without any, any jobs. Okay. So he wanted to help, but he knew others would laugh at him. So he stayed behind the holy hedge. Can you see the our Rudolph standing over here behind the holy hedge? At last, it was Christmas Eve. Santa's elves were busy packing the sleigh. So, what was the eve? It was the Christmas Eve. Okay. See, what do you do during Christmas, children? We decorate the houses. Okay. They decorate the Christmas tree with decorative items, with lights and cherries, fruits, small, small toys. The Christmas tree is decorated. See, can you see the Christmas tree here? Okay. I don't care if you make fun of me, said Rudolph suddenly. I want to help too. He dashed from his hiding place and went to find Santa. The night was bitter cold and a terrible fog covered the earth. Santa's elves kept bumping into each other as they hitch up the tree. They could hardly see as they put on each bright red harness. What do you mean by the word harness children? Harness means a set of strips of leather and metal pieces that is 
put around the animal's head and body so that it can lead a carriage this is a harness okay so this is a strip of leather and metal pieces that is put around the animal's neck see can you see here this is called the harness and where is my christmas list i can't see a thing in this fog cried santa just then a soft red glow lit up the snow thank goodness said santa suddenly jolly again i found my list ho ho who brought this fine lantern asked santa i must take it with me it's not the lantern said rudolph shyly the light comes from my nose who said this words ah rudolph said this words so where did the light come from the light had come from santa's nose is that clear see here santa is speaking to our rudolph rudolph the red nose dear said santa i'm glad to see you your light will guide my sleigh tonight i'll appoint you head of my team rudolph held his head high proudly he walked to the front of the team all the other reindeer bowed donder and dancer help rudolph put on his harness then down through the clouds and over the sleeping houses santa and the steam flew on the foggy christmas eve and leading the whole procession with rudolph see can you see here okay santa and the steam where did they flew they flew on to the christmas eve and leading the whole procession was rudolph the reindeer understood children so what did we learn in this story so we have learned about we have understood the theme of the story the theme you will be able to understand the themes of the story what is it the importance of self confidence not being bothered by bullies being different from others and using it to your advantage is that clear